Welcome to the Week Ahead videos. These are your Sunday evening updates to the course to let you know what's on the schedule for the week in front of us, what to expect, and if there are any spoilers, task lists, or anything else you need to worry about. So, first of all, welcome to semester. We start fast and early with the Monday night class. So, your first task, if you haven't already signed up, if you have, thank you, you're awesome, I appreciate your work. If you haven't, don't worry, plenty of time to be awesome. You've got until 5.55 p.m. Monday if you want to be in the class that night, or you've got until early Tuesday afternoon. The reason we're asking you to do this is you need to be a registered member of the seminar to, so that all of the technical systems of ANU can recognize you and therefore recognize your contributions to participation and engagement. We found that this is a super useful way to help the marketing team be able to identify when people have contributed in class, when they have participated in the chats, been part of the polls, talked during class. Otherwise, we have a whole lot of untitled unknown as our uh, people who scored the participation grades, and that's no fun for you. It's even worse for me trying to mark it. So please sign up. Uh, if it turns out that Monday night or Tuesday afternoon doesn't suit your timetable, that's okay. We do have the self-service option available, and that will roll out on Wednesday. Now this week in the Wednesday self-service, I am testing out some of the Echo 360 interactive functions. So if you want the non-interactive version, that will come through the YouTube. If you want to test run my interactive version for me, please give it a go. See if the interactive elements are working and if they're working, if they're useful, and let me know either through the feedback form, email, or on the forums. But it's a test drive to see whether we can turn it from static into dynamic. And I've no idea how it's going to go, but boy, am I willing to try. Second thing. I know I joke on the front. The very first thing I make a comment about, a meta reference about, is whoever thought of teaching e-marketing in a classroom? I mean, it's bar last year. It's how I've always had to do it. But basically, because ANU is ANU, when we cross the magic marker point of 50 enrolled students, two hours of tutorial space in TR5, ANU, CB26, TR5, were released to us. That came as more of a surprise to me than you would possibly imagine, because I was reasonably certain we were doing everything um, electronically, but because TR5 is a split-use venue, it's designed and apparently uh, set up to deliver both in-room and online simultaneously, Alex and I thought, what the heck, let's give it a go. Let's test drive this thing. So, if you are keen on doing a tutorial, please sign up to the tutorial seminar. Now, what we're doing here is that there is going to be Alex Tej in TR5 as your face-to-face -face administrator. He's going to be the guy on the ground. We're going to have a Zoom session that runs at the same time that you are in the room. So if someone is on remote, they can access in to the Zoom session and work with people who are in the room. So it is very much a bring your own devices, bring your laptops, your headsets, your microphones, bring your mobiles. Just make certain you're in a capacity to be able to engage with people on the screen as well as the people in the room around you. Because this is going to be a lot of the future that we're going to work with in eMark. There's going to be a lot more of this high flex hybrid stuff happening in the world. Now, I should also point out is I'm currently located in the not yet locked down city of Brisbane. I say this at 6 p.m. 25th of July. And when we get locked down tomorrow morning, sorry. But basically, I'm not going to be there. Alex is going to be my person on the ground. So Alex and I are also working in a high flex 
hybrid environments, and I'm working in the same way with my colleagues at the RSM. So why not extend the learning experience and the real life, real world job training to you through tutorials? So our plan is go into the room if you want to be in the room, go onto the Zoom if you want to be on the Zoom. I may pop in, uh, Alex may summon me in because for the most part I should be available uh, barring a few conflicting meetings. But functionally, tutorials with HyFlex mode. If they're right for you, sign up and be part of it. They are one of the ways in which you can gain engagement points. But engaging in the seminars is another way you can gain the points. The other thing to do this week, go have a look at the assessment tasks. There are four of them. All the due dates are set, all the instructional material supporting them is available, the videos explaining them are up and available, as are the Word documents and PowerPoint files that support them. Everything I plan on telling you at this point in the semester is now available to you. Once you've had a chance to have a look at that, if there's anything else that you'd like to know, please contact me. Reach out through the email or use the forums or use the form on the Waddle site. But right now, week one, you can map out your entire semester worth of due dates, deadlines and task lists. It's all up there. And if you were keen, you could have a crack at at least two of the tasks up front. We have just sent off the uh, request to activate the portfolio, so that may not necessarily be live until later this week. Uh, because it's tied to the enrolments on the students, they may not let us have it until uh, enrolments settle down in weeks three or four, but we'll find out. Other thing I'm going to ask you to do is check in on the forums. Go say hi. Uh, thank you to the three people who have already posted up there. Welcome to the forums uh, posts. I am very much enjoying getting to listen to a whole bunch of different music and new music now. So the request I always make at the start of the semester on my forums is introduce yourself, say who you are, and post up a favoured track, a tune, a, you know, a YouTube link preferably, because it says a bit about you, who you are, and also it's nice to share. And I've had a really good run so far. Uh, I, I say this for two years worth of doing this exercise now. So please do sign yourself in, say hello, greet each other. Uh, the forums are going to be a, an integral part of the subject. So get used to the Waddle Forum having a bit of traffic and there being a bit of a check-in opportunity to go and say hi, talk to each other and discuss stuff around the class. The week one... I'm also t using two approaches here that I should just quickly flag. Uh, I'm going to try the announcements forum. Um, this might be old hat to you, all of you, but I've traditionally only ever used one forum. I've only ever used the discussion forum. I uh, really want to try using the announcements forum this season, so I'm going to be posting the week aheads in there. Uh, there are already threads preset to release for uh, each of the weeks, so... If you want to discuss any of the course content, you want to ask any questions around what we discussed in the seminars or what's in the course videos and the course content, fire away. Final thing, obviously, to tell you to do this week is get stuck into it and get started. Your course content videos are all live through to the end of semester. Every bit of course content that uh, I'm going to make available is now available. These live event, these videos get recorded every Sunday or Sunday evening or Monday morning to announce what's coming up on the week and to respond to anything that's happened in the class. The seminars are done live and in real time, and it's two of those. They get recorded, and when I remember, I upload them to Waddle. But everything else, the readings are there, the slide decks are there, the videos are there. Get started. Welcome to the course, and... Uh, this is a course that really does run on the self-service and the co-creation. It's all about what you choose to use to get the course experience that you want. And as part of that, the last thing I'm going to say, 
is if there's anything we've missed, if there's anything I haven't covered that you want to see, let me know. Don't wait until the feedback forms at the end of semester. Don't wait until the CELTS to say, oh, he didn't cover the stuff I wanted to know. Get in, let me, let me in on the secret. Let me know what's the content. If you don't see it and you want it, sing out, let me know, fill out one of the feedback forms, and we'll get that for you. So welcome aboard. I will see some of you on Monday night. I will see others of you on Tuesday afternoon. And some of you I may never actually see at all. But however we choose to embrace the adventure that will be this subject, I'm glad to have you with me. And let's go have some fun with this. So see you in the sequels.